want to welcome back. We're back again. Storm here. Mom here. Hi. Kimmy here. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> welcome, everybody. So are you guys ready for more Better Call Saul today? Oh, yeah. yes. Let's do it. Yeah, so we're on Season 3, Episode 4. This one's called Sabrosito. 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 Ooh. So I don't know if that's common knowledge or not, but I'm curious what that means. I'm hoping that we'll see more of Gus. Oh, Mike is just awesome. Yes, yes Love they, Mike. they officially met mm -hmm. last sure episode. Did. And yeah, Mike likes to mess with uh, Tio. Yeah, yeah big time. And, and, and oh, Gus yeah. was the one that said, don't, don't kill him. Yeah, don't kill him, but you can mess with him as much as you want. That's, That's right. right. Yeah. But don't yeah. kill him. Yeah, because that so will is. cause more issues. So That's um, sure. he's competition. <laughs> so if you mess with the business, it's good for Gus and he'll get a good laugh out of it, too. Ha ha ha. <laughs> That's right. And he did. Yes. He did mess with them. He put the drugs in the that was such a the snakers. Awesome scene. <laughs> yes. How crazy, too, because now he's not getting any money for it. He's just doing it just to spite him. You know, like that's even That's funnier right, yeah. to go yeah, to so those lengths. To get back oh at someone, gosh, you know, because yeah. he's horrible and he didn't want to risk anyone else's life because he killed that yes, witness, that person, right, who, yes, that nice yeah. bystander who came by to help out. Innocent guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who's going to help? Like, people who are and so the nice driver like that, that's well, where to come by. the driver would die anyway, but. Uh -huh. Yeah, God, to be in that line of business, I mean, like, you never know mm, their story. I mean, look at don't. Walt, but. One day know, you can be eating a popsicle, people. the next day you're dead. <laughs> yeah, and just to get into that line of work, it's like, um, yeah. Not even the next day. It might be the. Next few minutes. <laughs> you never know. You get paranoid. You just never know. But Sorry. Jimmy going through all this now, I mean, you know, he did do wrong. Absolutely. It just sucks seeing him go through this process. And now Chuck legally throwing it at him. That, um, what is it called? The bar? He's going to get disbarred. Yes. Yeah. No, he's just as conniving as Jimmy is, but he just does it legally. I know. Right. Yes, it's messed up. Yeah, yeah, it's really yes. messed up. He's such a mean brother. He just He's, he's jealous just, of Jimmy. Tell you he's jealous, but, yes. and, but he wants things done right. And he's, Yes, he does, but he's still jealous of Jimmy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and it's hard because they're both doing wrong time. things. It's just yeah. Chuck is smarter when it comes to doing it. I don't know. Like, who's more underhanded? I yeah, know. because you him know, recording him too. Like, yeah, Chuck was oh, very yeah. smart. That That's whole fun. thing was very smart. I mean, he's such an intelligent man. They both are. Yeah. Just Jimmy's yeah, yeah. got that con in him, that con. Yeah, like yeah and it feels like just, Chuck has a legal con with him, you know? Like, it just yeah. messed up. Yeah, right. it's, it's and, so and Jimmy has one up where he has a great personality. He's a magnet to people. He, people really like him uh -huh. and that just eats on Chuck. Chuck hates that. Uh -huh. oh, sure. So personable and I want to know what happened to Chuck's wife. Cause we never really heard what happened to her. I mean, Jimmy said some cool things to him about her, like why she yeah. left and stuff. But I'm curious, like mm -hmm. if she actually just divorced him or like, well, I mean, knowing how he Chuck was so is negative to her too, you know? You know yeah. Like, critical of her maybe, you know, a lot of time. Yeah, who knows? I know. Or maybe she just couldn't take the medical condition that he has. Yeah, maybe. The hypersensitivity maybe. Maybe to electricity. Maybe that's what started it. And he's maybe like, she's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe he started having that and it just got too difficult for her or something. Yeah, maybe or maybe that triggered her, it. you know, triggered his disease when she left or something. I don't know, like, like right after. Mm -hmm. Not good. That's Not right. a good situation at all. I hate seeing the brothers fight so much, and I just don't think it's going to get better. It's a so shame. my prediction is, I kind of wonder with this ultimatum now, if um, Jimmy has to give up his name, which he might, and that's how he becomes Saul. You know, because why yeah. does he take on the Saul name? Oh yeah, yeah. that's true. So, he yeah. Changes his name. so maybe eventually yes. he'll get it back. Maybe it won't be permanent. Maybe it'll be just a temporary thing. It has to be because we know him as an attorney later on, that's you know, right, while yeah. Breaking Bad. Yeah. So maybe yeah. it's just a temporary thing. And then that's right. Maybe he might just change his name after that and then just completely get, you know, not even have anything to do with Chuck at all. Yeah. Like that's you what said, I'm right now, you're going to, yes. you're going to die a lonely man because I am not helping you anymore pretty much. Yeah. yeah. So taking on the name Saul Goodman, you know, I have a first and last name with that. So I think he takes on a full on persona, a different person. I don't know how that would work okay, though, yeah. but we'll find out, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to happen at some point, you know? <laughs> so shall we ladies? Yes. Right, let's do it. This show's fun. All right. 304. Cartel. Ah, uh, the necklace. That's that guy. Mm -hmm. 
Remember that guy? Mm hmm. It's so scary. With the bottle. Porque él no da una segunda oportunidad, ¿entiendes? Sí, sí. Let's try. He didn't give him a second chance. ¿Y qué más? Whoa, be insulted. <laughs> Papa, is that ice cream? Se parece a mí. Oh, do I really have to answer? Ah, eso oh, sí okay. me gusta. Oh, sheesh. Qué gusto verlo. Oh, sheesh. Okay, it's always so scary. Hector, bolsa. Una camiseta. Ah, that's how. Los pollos hermanos. Qué bien, bolsa. Mira, Hector. ¿Qué es esto? All these bags. Oh, he's got more money. Wow. Yes. Wow. Nicely packaged. Yeah. So get rid of those little rolls. Pues quiero insistir que de ahora en adelante todos me lo traen así, no más ligas. Oh. Está impresionante, ¿no? Es okay. <laughs> okay. He gets really fresh. He's so jealous. Me parece que alguien está un poco celoso. Es más grande que el tuyo. No deseas así. Oh God, the guy's no, so terrifying. No, diga algo amable, sabrosito, por favor. Te queda bien. Huh. He's hating it. Mm -hmm. He has a red shirt on. He's going to get angry. No lo insultes. He likes to pee in the pool, right? Yeah. <laughs> DEA. Ouch. Man, Mike's like, hey. <laughs> yeah. Even the cops are there. Like, that's kind of risky doing that. Cop? Hey, honey. Almost didn't recognize the number. I'm sorry. They changed my hours up at work. Well, that's very sweet, but I don't want to put you out. <laughs> There's someone here who wants to see you. Oh, oh, I can't say no to that. Oh, my. I want ice cream. <laughs> Bring that over. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. I'll have his. Oh, uh -huh. just, no, I just, yeah. Oh, they're going right in. Oh. I wasn't so worried about oh. Nasha, but. What's he gonna, really? He's gonna walk? I hope he doesn't do anything. Los Pueblos Serranos, may I take your order? I'll get it. Thank you. Well, he's not here at the moment. Uh, I'm sure I could help you with whatever you need. I need drink. Well, like I said, he's not here. He has anger issues. Oh yes, he does. Uh, okay, sir, if you if you don't mind, there are, there are other customers. Uh, excuse me, I sir. Can't smoke you can't light that in here, sir. There's no smoking on the care. premises. Oh, he's gonna. He doesn't yeah. care. What's he gonna do? Please, sir, I look at the signs. No fumar. I know everyone gets it. Yeah, like everyone's just, terrified. Yeah, so he's he's just doing doing you, he's so oblivious. He does not get what's going the on. Poor manager. I feel bad over the manager. Oh, we can't pass. leave. I'm so afraid. What's he gonna do? Watch out for the manager. Oh my gosh. It's gonna lose all these. Sure, you're not allowed back here. <gasps> Smash. Because I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Gus, thank mm -hmm. you. I, I hope to never need your services. I mean, no offense, but. He's so good in that role. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll be right there. <laughs> so crazy. Great so community um, leader to yeah. cartel. Oh, he just took it to another level. I want you all to go home now. You will be compensated for your full shifts. It's okay. We just go now. I hope they don't You're react. For today. You go. Awesome. You're no. oblivious. Just be a good guy. I was a boy and I wouldn't go back good there. Good guys, finish last. <laughs> Please do. Oh. Leave, don't come back. Ooh, this is why they're so like, well, other reasons too. Don Hector, mine is a cartel business, but it is mine. You are going to bring my product north. Gross, right in his desk. Oh, God, he's sure. just an a-hole, he's just a jerk. He is. You are doing it. He's like, you'll get yours. Those poor people just like looking around. Yeah. yeah. Sure, go to his business like that. If I was an employee there, I wouldn't want to stay there. He's got thing. He's 
smiling. Right in the way. Yeah. <laughs> you worry about cameras and stuff, but. Tell them we're square. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> he did it for himself and he did it for his family. Mm -hmm. They're happy, content. I'd be traumatized going back there. <laughs> I guess that's why I said I wouldn't I'd be worried go about back there having the jokes up in the back. What do you say to them? Yeah. Yeah, there is. You have to say something. They're all weirded out. It was unacceptable. If any of you wish to seek counseling due to lingering trauma, speak with me privately, and it That's will great. be arranged. Who were those guys? I cannot answer. You don't need to know. Well, some of you know that many years ago, I opened my first Los Pollos Hermanos. They wanted money. Ah, uh, like protection money. I, yeah. I'm, I'm ashamed to say that I paid them. Now, my friends, I must confess that I almost gave them what they wanted. But then I thought, no, this is America. Here, the righteous have no reason to fear that together we will prosper. Yeah, that was impressive. Yeah, that's yeah, that's it, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's it. 2.30 tomorrow. We're going to need to cancel that. Mm, somebody else in there? Pomeranians can be difficult. All that hair. I know. You're absolutely sure you got the right guy for this? The creme de la creme. <laughs> Take that, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Martin's repair. Yeah, Mr. McGill. Good afternoon. <laughs> if you don't mind wiping your shoes. Oh my god! Smasher. <laughs> no electricity due to a condition that was explained in some detail. No problem. What, a screwdriver and a hammer? Turns a morning job into two days with me, myself, and Ben Gay. It, it's your call. It's <laughs> <laughs> like Mike's awesome. <laughs> what? What? Plant some bugs in there. He needs that to scare him away so he can do what he needs to do. That's right. It's great though because he can still repair, you know, he probably mm -hmm. and do other things, whatever yeah. else he's doing. Hopefully he doesn't have charge in that battery. Oh my God. Going upstairs? Uh -huh. It's like driving him out. Friend are the Ansel Adams of covert photography. <laughs> <laughs> well, perhaps in the future, you will consider working for me. Uh -huh. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the connection. A bullet to the head would have been far too humane. Uh, he's a monster. Yeah, it's, it's... Remember how his friend died? <sighs> yep. Howard? Okay. <laughs> this is so uncomfortable. Chuck. Kim? Leave something about the frequency of their voices really did a number on her. Well, that is a shame. And a little talk. Suck up moment. Check it out. We're all set? No, not all set. Mr. Oh, McGill, your brother boy. may be satisfied, but I am not. I was wrong. Mr. McGill, could you at least look your brother in the eye? Wow, she's really pushing it. She's Come really on, for yeah. him. She only knows one side, really. Yeah. I shouldn't have broken down your door. Doesn't matter how I was provoked or he won't say the other for the things that I said because you're my brother I, and no one should treat his own brother like that not uh, ever. underlining the amount is three hundred and twenty one dollars um, the correct amount go. is three hundred twenty three dollars and ninety eight cents that includes the cassette tape he has to keep just doing he had that, that. He had it was so petty actually Jimmy destroyed the duplicate uh, Mm -hmm. The original is under lock and key. I'm glad he confessed that. Bingo. Okay, so, so they knew he was going to do that. Well, she knows now mm -hmm. that there is an original tape. Uh-huh, and yeah, he should, too. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, that was it. Oh, that was it. I got that into that. Real. I feel like it was halfway yeah. through. Oh, that was a good episode. Fantastic. It was mainly talk, but it was like intense talk. Yeah. Like, oh, my God. I thought there was going to be a big argument with her saying, no, you didn't apologize about everything. Or Chuck now, even though he was satisfied and she wanted the apology and he was saying the apology, but he was directly saying things that he was actually sorry for, but not about what exactly like the major thing that, that happened. And he's like, sorry about the damage with your door, you know, yelling at you. Some of the things I said, I was regretful, but not his actions before that. I thought at that point, Chuck was going to open up and be like, uh, 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 well, what about what you did before? Yeah, I and thought so too. I didn't about AJM and all that. Yeah. And then I thought that was going to trigger Jimmy going like, oh, F yeah. you man, or something like that. But, I think he learned when he lost his temper that one time and having the um, investigator guy there being a witness, like he knows better not to. Yeah, not to and now he's with a he judge that's to. favorable to Chuck. And oh, it's terrible. Is, is, you know, sensitive to his medical <sighs> issue. And even Brian giving him a dig where no brother should ever do I that. love how he no, worded Jack, that. Yes, that was perfect. Yeah, that's right. And Chuck knew what he was saying there, too. Yep. Yeah, I agree. Oh, Man, that whole situation, like Ooh. seeing both of them, like you have Kim, it was just insane having Kim and Jimmy over here, and then you have Chuck and Howard over here, and it's like insane. Like, like they're just obviously They only addressed each other fighting. with their first names, and Jimmy, right, and Jimmy yeah. would not address Chuck and at And not even looking, just not friendly at all, just I professional. That's, you know, and even Kim going up to them afterwards. Oh, and yeah. just mm -hmm. like, Definitely. I don't know even how you call that, but just arguing or just upfront to being like, okay, well, this is, you're my challenge and we're yeah, going to take I'm this head on. Her. Document this. Yeah. And she knew there was a duplicate and she mm -hmm. got Chuck and Howard's like, no, 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 there was only one. No, she knew Chuck would do that. Yeah. yeah. Good, and yeah. even though we know that um, Kim, like she does things correctly sometimes, like she means well, when it comes to Jimmy, she really does bend the rules a lot. And now she's doing mm -hmm. illegal stuff where they were scamming people together and she really did enjoy that with Jimmy. And now she wants to protect him. She wants to help defend him and doesn't like how Chuck is handling things. We don't like it either, but he is following the law. And what makes it right, you know? And yeah, and, and who yeah, knows yeah, what yeah, they yeah. have under their sleeve. And she's probably playing Chuck's game where it is legal what they're doing. Yeah. She can call. They don't have any proof of who called the handyman. But that's not yes. legal, though. I know, because it's like, not legal. Like, don't get caught. But, um, caught. Yes. but she's still doing illegal stuff. She's yeah, just and not now caught. they have pictures inside. Yeah. How do they get the pictures inside? Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, so when they find that oh, out, like, oh, boy. well, I took those before. Well, how? Because everything's damaged. So that's going to oh be an interesting God. conversation because he's going to figure out Mike wasn't an actual handy. Well, he was yeah, a handy Mike man, but not the right handy man. <laughs> but for Kim to call all those people, how long did it take to go through the phone book to call all no, these different handy yes, places to see which one, cancel it, and then call Mike? To go into his house. Something? He's an intruder going into the <laughs> yes. house to take pictures. <laughs> that was impressive. Mike did it so Mike well. Always, yeah, he does. Yeah. Yeah. They're all so yes. good at that that I'm always so impressed. Turn really it have to get away it that. And it's funny, too, because he keeps playing with the power tools to yeah. freak out Chuck to get him away. Like, whoa, what are you talking about? And <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Chuck also being so, like, reticulate mm -hmm. and like, oh, well, you know, you have to use hand tools. You can't do power tools. He's like, it's going to take me two days instead of, like, a couple hours or whatever. And he goes, That's yeah, right. but, oh, okay. And he just got freaked out by the so that was hilarious but you know Chuck keeps doing these things that just dig and dig at you where he's so freaking annoying like I know he's set in his ways but he's like major OCD or something where just to dig it again about a cassette tape like really he always what he added like two extra dollars or something like a small amount That's to that right. just amount that, just that to dig it, it. Okay. like he has hey, a major taken. removed OCD yeah, Jimmy's problem. like, yeah, whatever it takes to get rid of the steel yeah, I'm, I thought, I'm gonna do it gosh. now and be done with it that's a good idea. That's yeah, right, that's yeah. good that he went that route because I really thought he was going to like crack under that and be like, are you freaking kidding me, really? But that's, that's what right, Chuck yeah. wants. Or so maybe now just get help Jimmy himself. has to get employment for a year doing something else. Yeah. For 12 mm -hmm. months. Yeah. I thought he said law. Yeah, doing. lawful, he said. So I was yeah, thinking. So it has law, to be legal. It has to be legal. <laughs> yeah, 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 that makes sure. sense. <laughs> so he has to be employed under someone. I wonder mm -hmm. if he's going to be Kim's paralegal. <laughs> I was kind of oh, wondering, maybe, actually. Yeah. I was like, oh, well, maybe yeah. that would be the most convenient way to go about things. Employed. She'd have to hire him, but... Hey. How crazy. I hate how awkward it was, too, because, again, it's the same conversation. Just Jimmy did something wrong, yeah. but Chuck is doing things messed up, too, to his own brother 
but legally, you know, but to be able to emotionally be able to do that, I know he's trying to prove a point and punish him, but it's also because he just is proving or trying to prove to himself that he isn't a good lawyer and yeah. he's well, doing he it because he deserves it and has to they, learn. Yeah, it just sucks. Trying, yeah. The burnt bridge, it's fully burnt, I feel like. Like, I don't think they can come back from that, sadly No, I don't enough. think so either. Yeah. yeah, and Kim, of course, like, I know they have their own practice, but, you know, she burnt bridges with them now, too, so... I mean, they mm-hmm. really hurt her, too, but it's, like, back and forth all the time, but it just... I know. It and does Howard, Howard yeah, is always God. very professional as well. He only sees Chuck said he does know about Jimmy. You know, he knows, you know, their relationship, but... But he's partners with Chuck, and, Chuck and uh, yeah. he's very professional in that way. I mean, even sneaking well, into backyards in a suit to go meet up, oh you know, like that was funny that was before. It's like, what? Yeah. Yeah. Howard, you know. Yeah. But um, oh going God. to Gus now, I love him mm. being a more like a bigger focus in this. Yes, he and offered Mike a job. Yeah, I was, he did. Oh, and I was waiting, I'm like, what, when's he going to do it? How's it going to happen? And uh-huh. sorry, I just blurt things out. We're all blind to the show, as you know. Yeah, we, yeah I guess <laughs> Yeah, I love guessing. You can tell when I've seen something. I'm like, uh, uh, spew, spew, spew. And then I'm like, uh, and then sometimes I do bite my tongue, though, but I can't help myself. I get excited. But when we went to the main Los Pollos that Gus stays at, like, mm-hmm. I had a freak out moment because I'm like, well, maybe I saw it wrong because I had all these things happening in my head where I'm like, what's going to happen here? And they're terrorizing. I mean, it's subtle, but it's horrible. aggressive. And they're standing yeah. at the entrances, exits, you know, and just standing yeah, over staring. everyone like this <laughs> yeah. with dark clothes on. Like, even that, like, just, like, standing there like that. Like, they all came in as a group. Like, that's intimidating. Yeah, and, it sure is, definitely. And the one guy wouldn't even move until Nacho said, no, let them go. He cut in front yeah, to block did. them. Yeah. Like, yeah, that was even more like, on. whoa. Like, he that goes, was no, a- we're not. And now that we know that they took essentially the employees hostage until Gus got there, Mm -hmm. they were initially Mm going to take the customers as well. I mean, really? That's insane. Yeah. And how do you get past that? So I was overthinking it and I'm like, I was so scared something bad was going to happen, but I'm like, okay, if this is his main establishment, any establishment though, we'll put it under investigation eventually. So then he would have been called out early on, I think. You know, so I'm like, okay, well, nothing can really happen because then Gus will be, you know, because any private investigator goes over there. Although he has, like, I guess they look before or not for that, like for drugs, but um, he is so good at thinking about the laundromat and stuff like that to hide anything and then hiding the drugs in the bucket, like one bucket in each truck and the um, batter and stuff. Like he really, even if they did investigate, I guess um, they wouldn't find anything. But they would still connect the dots on why did this violent thing happen. But Gus is good with telling stories, too. And it was great what he said with his employees. Because if they kept the civilians there eating, like, I think it would have be, been more traumatic, you know? Because I'm sure Someone's they probably told have people a phone after. Phone, perhaps. Definitely. Yeah. Because people leaving, especially the mother with her child leaving there, Ooh, I, yeah. I would have called the cops right after or something, you know? Like, oh, yeah. that's really scary. Going on. So I feel like something else might happen afterwards, and maybe someone will check out that place just to be like, is everything okay? And are you getting you know, yeah, threatened by no, anyone? No. Right. And, and now and it, Gus had to say something to his employees because mm-hmm. it was a toxic Definitely. environment there the day before. Oh, yeah. Sure. He's was, lucky they all came back the next day. Yeah, I mean, that is. If I was an employee, I wouldn't ever come back. <laughs> so, no, yeah, that was you. terrifying. I mean, Ooh. I get it. Like, if you're tied where you have to make money and money, it's yes. a good job and you yeah. have no choice yeah. but and to he's go a back good and employ- still like that. He's a great employer. He's yeah. very good. You could tell. Scary, and they don't know exactly no. what happened. That so was that was scary. scary. Yeah. So after his pep talk, I mean, they were like, yeah, yes, yeah, you go. Yeah. Don't give them any money. Like, yeah. that's right. he yeah. won them over. You know, I'll just tell you guys a crazy story because it is really scary sometimes. And where I used to work, um, I won't give details just in case if it's like bad or not. But where I used (laughs) to work, there was uh, a person, I think he used to live um, in an apartment above. And he uh, always got drunk and he would go downtown and um, just be always like walking around the town drunk like crazy. Right. And he would pace back and forth. At one point, um, he was having a fight with someone outside 
the police had to come and kick him out and tell him, like, you have to leave this property, which is where we work. So he and left. And he's, to where he lives, yeah. right? Yeah, mm-hmm. so he stumbled. Oh. Yeah, or something like that. Maybe he didn't live yeah. there at the time, but he did live there. There was a whole story there, but uh, okay. I guess it doesn't matter. But anyways, like, yeah. he would always frequent that property. And the cop finally told him, you have to leave. So he walked away. He went downtown. And he came back with a friend. And at this point, um, it happened throughout the whole day. And at this mm-hmm. point, he had a handkerchief over his face tied. And so did his friend. And they were trying to be funny, I guess. And they're stumbling and coming back. And we have a lot of, well, I keep saying we. Like, this I still work there. <laughs> yeah, this is pre-COVID. This is a few years back. <laughs> so no man. And um, I'm, where I'm working, like, there's a ton of windows. So I'm cleaning up a room. And I see them coming back. And I see, well, them. I see him with a friend coming back. And they have the handkerchiefs freaking tied like this. And he has mm. his hand in like this in his, in his trench coat or whatever. And he's acting like he has a gun. He was totally mm. trying to scare and act like he had a gun. So he's doing this. And he's coming back around to the side of the property. And I'm mm. watching this. And so immediately I freak out. But I, I stay calm. But I'm, like, freaking out internally. I start telling a couple people I work with. I'm like, okay, well, can you contact the police? Mm. That guy's back. And, you know, so I start locking the door. So I'm going around mm. careful. I'm just locking the doors. And mm. I'm slowly closing other doors around the office, like keeping people in their rooms because it happened so quickly. And now he was rushing right back to um, our building with like, not kidding, oh, like yeah. this with a handkerchief with his friend. They were acting like That's they were going to rob us or yeah. something. So they end up running inside and they run in and they go upstairs like thud, 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 thud. So um, they couldn't come in downstairs, but the main entrance was still open. So anyways, long story short, like I was the only one who reacted. <laughs> um, a few <laughs> other people, because no one else knew about it. And yeah. um, one of the doctors ended up calling the police and the police said that they couldn't do anything unless any action took place or if, if they actually acted yeah. out because I guess like he lived or his friend lived upstairs something like that but it was yeah. just crazy so like nothing was done but, but anyways it makes me think like something intimidating this was worse this is way worse because mm-hmm. luckily like that guy's like we've seen him around and nothing's ever happened you never know but yeah. um, this was definitely way more intimidating yeah. but it makes you think like going back the next day like is this the day that guy's going to actually retaliate and do something? And right. Yeah, right. Because Sorry, attention, but it just makes no, it think like it, it's it does scary. make you think. And, you know, whether you're a client or an employee, you know, that's a toxic it sure is. environment. And for him to come in there. But you know what? It's the cartel. And yeah. Gus knows what he's getting into. He has a competitor that is, you know, a little loose cannon. Mm -hmm. And he's got to address it. And who better to get than Mike? Yeah, Mike is great. But Hector, (laughs) seeing him mobile, I mean, we've seen him in flashbacks and stuff in Breaking Bad. And then in this, she won. Nasty, like showing oh, how gross. much power he has gross. and how he is so cocky that he's better than everyone. Like, even and like he's fighting not. his Gus own is like friend. Overpowerly, I mean, he's overwhelmingly, you know, yeah. doing much better than Hector is. Oh, yeah. Yes. And it shows with Hector and his men going in and with Gus not actually having protection, like there was no one there to protect him if things went down, you know? So yeah, he would have been right. screwed yeah. there. Like, yes, he's tough, he's professional. But he was screwed in that moment. If they did anything, that's it. Like, he had nothing on him, you know? So that was good that now he's like, crap, Mm -hmm. I actually need a bodyguard or something. Yeah. Um, It's serious. But for Hector to have that much, like, pride and just think that he's better, like, even arguing with his own boss in, you know, uh, in Mexico, just, like, yelling like that. And not yelling, but, like, really just coming back. I'm like, wow, you know, he just really just thinks that much of him. And Mm -hmm. But he's always been like that. So yes, seeing this right side enough. of him being normal, like not in a wheelchair, being able to talk and seeing how like much of a jerk he was. I mean, yeah, even in sure Breaking Bad with what he did with Gus and his friend when they were talking to the cartel mm-hmm. at that same right. pool. Mm-hmm. So showing that pool over and over again. And then, of course, with him diving in, the cartel guy, and he has the necklace on. I'm like, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh that guy, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. So in well, Gus, Gus, has, has, Gus has class. He does. He knows does, he's a businessman through and through. I mean, he's great with the community. He mm-hmm. does something nice for the local fire department. He's involved. He knows how to schmooze. Yeah, yes, he the sure right does. People. I wonder if Gus is going to contact the main guy and be like, oh, well, Hector you know, stepped off and actually went on his own and made this call. And this is an abrupt thing. Like you're going to start a war this way. Or I know he doesn't want to start a war, Gus, but it's not even him starting it. It's really Hector taken into his mm-hmm. own hands. Mm-hmm. So that's not good. So mm-hmm. I wonder what he's going to do to kind of slap him on the wrist. 
you know, to make Hector be like, haha, because he can't just, like, sure he didn't nod or agree to anything Hector said. He just no. stood there. No. And I think what he was saying to his employees is what he's really going to do. He is not going to let him take money. Well, he's yeah. not going to mm -hmm. let I'm not going to transport his drugs mm -hmm. for him at yeah. all. And, and he's never really coming back in here again. Yeah. 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 That's right. So I that's know nice. Hector starts to degrade and he has cancer or something and really just gets sick and ends up in a wheelchair. But I wonder if something else happens, like an accident to make him go that way. Mm, I don't know. Who knows? Because so happens. many diseases, um, <laughs> yeah. months, years, however long it takes, you know, it could just be over time. But um, I don't know. Maybe something else happens to him. He's to... taking medication. Mm -hmm. We see him every once in a while taking meds. Oh, so yes. maybe he's on hypertension or something like that. I thought yeah, he maybe. had a stroke, but oh, no, it's yeah. who knows? We'll find out. I'm it's, sure it's on this scary. series. Yeah. I'm curious. I mean, it's probably the yeah. stroke that did it, you know, absolutely. But um, who knows? Maybe something before and then. Or yeah, maybe you after. never know. It right. could have gotten in, you know, an injury or something. Yeah, Isn't that um, funny yeah, that we yes. root for Gus and it's like he's this ultimate <laughs> crime boss? <laughs> it's like, ah. <laughs> Man. But yeah, I wish very Nacho well. was on Gus's side. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Maybe down the road. I don't think so, though. Yeah. yeah. No, he won't. Can you imagine if Tuco walked in there? <laughs> oh, my yes. God. That would have been like an oh, unstable mess. That would have been really bad. Yeah. I People like Nacho. The table saying, yeah. Because mm -hmm. Nacho, he's even intimidated by the whole thing. Like, he's, he's brave in his own way, and he's strong. He's very smart. But mm -hmm. he's also very uncomfortable, you can tell, like, with the yeah. way his eyes glaze over, and he's just kind of, like, looking around sometimes. Yeah. And I think he would yeah. do better with the Gus cartel. Mm -hmm. to Gus people then because th he's more you know professional and yes. I think mm -hmm. that shit would handle it more and not hit with Hector yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like no thanks <laughs> man so I wonder if Mike is going to think about it for a while before he takes Gus up on his offer maybe it'll be like so maybe something else will happen first yeah maybe he's, he'll be sick and tired of going to the vet and asking for jobs here well, and there that's true yeah, yeah. <laughs> We know it's going to happen, but yeah, like that will yeah. be interesting to see Just if it's like time. quick or, but I like Mike sitting with his family, his daughter-in-law and his yes, granddaughter, that's like right. that's oh, sweet. And you can see that he was true. so happy because he's so lonely all the time and he does all this work for them. Right. Like, this is John terrible does. work. Right. He's doing and it all he, for them. But you can still tell that he, there's something on his mind and Stacy could tell that. She's yeah, like, she could. What's going on, you know? Yeah. Uh, he open up. Oh, yeah, he can, I guess. He can't but, open up. So. Yeah. <laughs> but wow. So can't wait to watch more. Love this show a lot. Yeah. We really get into it. And I know we're used to Breaking oh, Bad, but we always think the worst. But when you're in like these sit downs or talking to the cartel, like, oh God, and they act like you're they're your best friend and then they kill you. And it's like, it's really scary. It's very, like the bobblehead. I'm like, oh, you're dead. Even if you didn't create that, it's your place. It's your store. So. And that poor driver. <laughs> the dri that's the driver that died ultimately, right? That Hector killed him. Was that, that was him? Shot. Yeah, was that? That's I thought him, it was someone. Yeah. Oh my God! So you're better so, with faces than uh, me because I'm like I thought he was a different oh, guy. Okay. Like how could you like say anything wrong? I mean, you, I'd be so petrified. Sherbert, to say I guess thing. it was like a Sherbert right, thing, right? God. So well, I'm so bad with faces sometimes because I really thought he was a different guy. And a di okay, okay, I guess that makes it look, sense. It looked like him. Yeah, yeah, probably you're good with faces. So because he was really oh, intimidated God. there, he was so yeah. cocky. Yeah. If that was the same guy, like he was so cocky because he's been in this business for so long, like in the present time or yes no, past so now 20 but, years now 15 right, years it's yeah. like ugh. yeah because he was really like nervous in the beginning but that bobblehead thing was just so ugly i'm like oh you're that dead. was <laughs> just it had like i know it was melting but it was like a melting on the side it was supposed yeah. to look like like sherbet like or something melting. Like and then he had wink. a wink but he had bumps on the side yeah <laughs> you know so it's like it looked like um a cyst or something so it just at looked first terrible. i thought it was a lemon on his side and had some leaves or something and i said what the it heck had is something that? like re yeah it was weird yeah, like, was like, like oh that's a terrible that? design but i don't know like anything could trigger something bad so I'm like oh god what's gonna happen but <laughs> anywho great show until next time so please ring yes. that bell please Ooh. subscribe that helps us out a lot check out our patreon to see full reactions a week early and we'll see you very soon as always bye guys bye, bye.